Mark, the tip, what can we take home to, to our, on our own? Yeah. So, of course, the yielding exercises yeah. on the body. Yeah. And try to do your sit tau. Yeah. Everybody's version of sit tau is okay, like I said. Yeah. Just change now sometimes. If you train this one with the hip yeah. and everything, it's more gloomy. Yeah. It's also okay. Yeah. Yeah? So, but train it then good. Yeah. Understand? I mean, you have training, uh, C4 LMR is very good training with the skippy ball and stuff. And so, but you have to train it like that. If you don't train it like that, it's just also not good. But this is a different engine again. So then you train maybe half of your time this, you sink and you let go, think of expanding, doing your cinema very slowly, yeah. using your mind yeah. to melt outside and inside and make it a half an hour session of your cinema. There's not a, there's not, for nothing, yeah, that Grandmaster Yipan, he said, the third section, he took sometimes half an hour just to do the, to get the tanso out. So, Cho Shantin was very good with that. Yeah, with the mind, he, he calls it nimlik. Other arts call it yi, intention. It's the same thing, okay? It's the mind force. So just use your mind force to melt, let go, and sink the chi to the dantian. You will find out later what it means. Yeah, it's not something mystical. And work on that, and then you see improvement. And do the chi sa without striking. Just to try to get each other centered. Like this, one leg forward, and you can even do it more crazy positions. Do it like this. It's very uncomfortable. But if you can yield here and give here, then it's easier here and much more easier there. Understand? Things, things like that. Mix up. You have your striking way, then you have now a new way of striking. Just add it to your game. Of course, you can use that type of striking, then all of a sudden you detach, boom, and you throw a hook out. The other guy thought he had to because he's used to. When you have your balance, the other way cannot strike anymore. All of a sudden, the hook comes out with power. And then you have a knockout. Just mix it up. Important is to train as friends, as partners, to help each other grow. I saw some instances of a little bit too much ego. Everybody get hit. There is not impossible not to get hit. You're tired, uh, you're, you don't feel so good, all of a sudden, you use some muscle power, so your muscle also start to burn, you will get here. Yes. But if you help each other grow, and you say, okay, this can be better, let's do it again. I hit, I hit you there, let's do it again. Blah, 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 blah. Like two baby tigers playing, then the skill grows, the whole system can grow. If there is ego, I'm better than you, I'm better, and I cannot be hit, and stuff, that is the wrong mindset. Yeah? Understand? Then we can learn from the BJJ people, right? There's no dispute, it's just beautiful, right? Okay, you're better, okay. Oh, we'll do it again. Yeah, you see, you're not better, you're better. <laughs> I better train, right? Yeah. Same with Bing Chun. Okay, I can catch your balance the whole time. Meaning I'm better. Of course, the problem is, I put a fax out on your throat. I stay there, I can also get hit. It's not so clear as the Brazilian arm walk. This is the problem, yeah? I put my fax out, and they still get hit. Yeah, but you could not get hit if I put it. Yeah, yeah. So this is why you must train friendly. First is the toys away. Just robbing each other's balance, no striking. There you see who's better in skill. Who can yield better, who can better absorb forces, is the one who stays stable. The one who's going like this, don't have the skill yet. Then you can build the strike on the top, but he knows them. Oh, yeah, I have no chance. So that is our way of standing up like BJJ does it on the floor. The taking of the center line without striking. Then the striking we build on top of that. And that's how the skill builds. Yep. Um, so we talked about the Jeep and Gong, the, the ways to become some. In your opinion, so there's a lot to do with standing post meditation. Do you use it? And if so, do you use a variant where you've got a static pose in terms of hands or no? Wing Chun, yeah, Wing Chun has its own standing meditation embedded in the ceiling top floor. Yeah. That's why we stand still. Yeah. It's just that people do like this, they go to the floor. Too fast. Too fast. Yeah, yeah Grandma Sahibman is filmed just before his death, right? He's sick, he wanted to get the form done on video, but I'm told 
when he trained, he did at least half an hour for the third set. It means he had some idea there of standing most post meditation, right? So we don't need to do that kind of standing post meditation because we have it in our ceiling time. You understand? Chamtu has its reason, Puji has its reason. It's just that after the 1800s, after the Taiping uprising, it became more hunlik, more chain punching. But then again, people like Cho Shantin try to put the internal engine back in. In my opinion, uh, is a good thing. And I'm trying to do my uh, part to bring even more internal back in. As I would believe, according to the writings, the Kunkut of that time, in the 1800s, it was a purely internal system. But if some people do it more externally, it's also okay, it also works. Can I ask a follow-up question? So there's a lot to do about Tai Chi isn't Wing Chun, you shouldn't try to put the Tai Chi engine in Wing Chun. Yeah. Your opinion, what's the fundamental difference between both engines? Like what are the similarities and what are the things which are really quite different? Okay. I go very quick because it's important, okay? This thing, yeah? Because it's close to my heart, because I also have Tai Chi in my association, okay? But it's, it's actually, if you see modern day Tai Chi, it's two different things. Wing Chun is different. But I, I do very quick. I, I, I take now Yang Tai Chi, okay? Yang Tai Chi. So, you have Yang Lu Chan, is the founder of Yang Tai Chi, yeah? Mm -hmm. He had a form, 64 movements. I showed uh, Paul a video of it. It's very quick. With Faji, very quick and short form. In six minutes, it's done. Mm -hmm. Actually, that form is very similar to the Sun Kong of Tang Yik Wing Chun. Like 80, 70% similar. If you ask, they say, okay, because I believe after studying Fujian White Brain for many years, that Yang Lu Chan mixed what he learned from the Chen village mm -hmm. with Fujian White Brain and made Yang style Faji. Many of the postures is pure uh, Fujian white brain. Anyway, he had a son, Yang Chin Ho, and he had a son who is the famous one, Yang Chen Fu. Okay? And Yang Chen Fu simplified the system, took all the fighting out, took all the spiral movement out, and flowed from one posture to one posture. Understand? without the transitions. So, if, if, if you see, for example, uh, a piece of a young South Tai Chi, they have a stripe, they have a stripe, they go stripe, 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 stripe. But that whole piece is left out by Yang Ching Fu. They go from here, and then they go to there. <laughs> Understand? They, they take it out. So, it's they deleted the fighting essence. Then Chen Man Ching simplified even more, make it 37 posture, and it became just a health system. So if you ask me, the 64 Tai Chi form, very similar in expression of Jin and stuff as the 1800s Wing Chun. If you talk about Northern Day Tai Chi, Yang Ching Fu Tai Chi, 99% of the Tai Chi in England, is a completely different thing. So people who say on the forum I read, yeah, Tai Chi, you cannot mix Tai Chi with Wing Chun, it's two different things, they are right, if they take that end. Yeah. If we go to Shanghai, to one of my friends, and he shows you that, then it's the same thing. So it, it depends from which angle you take it. Okay? Not the health Tai Chi, but Not the, the original Tai Chi, the fighting Tai Chi. Yes. Tai Chi was the martial art. Supreme test. You know, the uh, emperor bodyguards in Beijing, they learned Tai Chi. The bodyguards of the emperor. You think they didn't learn an effective system? Yeah. And the funny thing is, you know how Tang Yik Wing Chun is called? The Tai Chi of the South. Because Wing Chun was known as the Tai Chi of the South. And in Tang Yik Wing Chun it's still like that. The Sun Kung form is the, Tang Yik, is the Tai Chi of the South. It's very, it's very similar to the, also to Bagua. This is Tang Yik Wing Chun. You see this transition? It's like Bagua. It's also Wing Chun.
what people nowadays take Jibman Wing Chun, which is a very good system, as the blueprint of Wing Chun. No, there is so many other lineages out there. Yipman Wing Chun is the most famous one because Bruce Lee became a student of Yipman. But Wing Chun should not be only Yipman Wing Chun because then we neglect UK Sun Wing Chun, Yu Choi Wing Chun, Gulo Wing Chun, uh, Sei Hok Wing Chun, uh, the, the uh, Yip Kam Wing Chun. There is so much more to learn and that's beautiful, right? Because you can make yourself better, you can uh, express yourself in more ways. Grandma Yipman is the most important one because without him we would not be sitting here. Without Bruce Lee we would not be sitting here, at least I know, because I was the biggest Bruce Lee fan. And I wanted to do what Bruce Lee did, it was Yipman Wing Chun, so I was crazy about it. And then I started Yipman uh, Wing Chun and after three lineages of Yipman Wing Chun I started to look around for other Wing Chun. Some people they stay by one lineage, also okay, yeah? you excel in that lineage. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. So is the snake engine in Old Tai Chi the same as the snake engine in Wing Chun? Exactly. And is that from Fukin White Crane? No, it's yes. actually Yang Lu Chai. Look, because you're an internal stylist, yeah? maybe I'm going to shock you a little bit because you're Tai Chi. You know Chen Tai Chi? Yeah. The name Tai Chi <coughs> is a theory of Chinese yeah. Taoist, is Taoist so theory. Why Chong and Ming Chong? Before it was yes, yeah. it yeah. is nothing to do with martial art. No. Then in the imperial palace, there was a poet, I forgot his name, a poet. When he saw Yang Lu Chan teaching the bodyguard, he said, wow, that looks like Tai Chi in motion. Mm -hmm. Then is when they branded his style, Tai Chi. Before that, it was Yang family boxing. And the style that Yang Lu Chan learned in Chen village yeah. was cannon fist. It was not called Tai Chi. No. And cannon fist is one form of Xing Yi. Chen family boxing is actually Xing Yi. Okay. But what happened is, Yang Lu Chan learned it. Yeah. The poet gave it the name Tai Chi. Yang Cheng Fu made Tai Chi super famous in Shanghai and around China. Then Chen Village stood up. Yeah. We are the first one. Yang Lu Chan learned by us. We are the first Tai Chi. So then it was Chen Fa Kei who then reinvented it. And yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then it became Chen Tai Chi. Yeah. Which is actually plum boxing as well. Uh, plum boxing. Yes. Exactly. It's all this. Cotton boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the same later from Yang style, come Wu style, become Sun style, and all these so things. So the snake engine, where, where do you think that Ermain, it's Ermain. It's Ermain, yeah, yeah. The mountain, Ermain and Bhutan mountains, yeah, yeah. have a contact. It was a, like, like a, a traveling road, a contact and exchange. And Yang Lu Chan probably the Xing Yi, eh, Chen family Xing Yi, White Rain and Ermain. And the seal in Tao Set yeah. is Fujian White Rain, Ermain fused. Sub Chi Chi Blake of Fujian White Rain mixed with the Ermei Search One. Created the seal in Tao Set which around 1840 is split into Sinata, Changkyu, Puji. So the origins are the same. So if you go far enough back, yeah. same thing. Nowadays, worlds apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. Other um, person? Yeah. yeah. Just to, to digress a bit, you mentioned Yin coach and Yang coach. Is that done with the way it's spiraling? Yes. It's very simple. You spiral here, is Yin. You spiral there, is Yang. Yin. Yang, your Tan Sao, your Fu Sao, everything in Wing Chun is Yin Yang, balance. I've got a question. Um, you know, in John Q, yeah. the turning, yeah. how, how do you look at that? It depends again which lineage you talk about. No, what do you use? Sorry. What I use? Yeah, yeah. How my turning is. Yeah. So, I use a three ring theory. Okay? So, everything starts from Dantian. The qua is this and the Dantian area. So this is my motor. It starts here, then the next ring is turned, then the next ring is turned. Then, by beginners, their hip is not open enough, so I let them move the hip. So my, my, my turning is like that. Yeah? There's one lineage very similar to my turning, it's one kamlam. People know one kamlam? Yeah. Extremely good Wing Chun guy, very underestimated. Very, very good. Wang Kamlang is super good. That, 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 that way of turning is very similar to mine. So, uh, the Dantian again is the core. 
ring number one, ring number two, ring number three. And the foot get turned because of that. You have like a rotor effect. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Th that's it. Last question. So, so when, when you're doing that turn, um, you're saying beginners move their foot first. So how would you practice it? Would you practice it with your feet more stationary? Yeah, like I said, I, I do all my forms. My, this is my so yang turning, yang turning and, then and this is my yin turning. turning. Yeah. Yeah. You see the, the, the different lineages of different forms, right? Now you see my tangy wing chun, wing chun kun form. You see how I move. Yeah. It's very different, right? Yeah. You see also my hip look, my hip knee yeah. look. Right? Yeah. So it's more like a snake, yes. yeah. like a crane. So it needs more body work. Yeah. Yeah. Then you ask me, is it better than sit them down? And I say no, it's the same. Okay, you sit them down, develops the same internals if you do it good. And you can also later add a little bit of sinking, a yeah. little bit of work, you understand? You can all, all do, however you do it, your choreography, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah? But if you experience the movement, if you experience what is going on, where am I letting go, where am I sinking, how is my back, where is the power, instead of just rushing through the form, yeah. you have to analyze the form, experience the form, feel the form, go very deep in the form, it's like a meditation, yeah? Yeah. then it does something for you. So I absolutely don't believe the more forms, or the more beautiful the forms, uh, the better. Because it's not about choreography. No. It's about the essence of martial art. Yeah, there are some martial arts that don't have form at all. Yeah. They're very dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. I mean. Okay. Okay, yeah. okay, then I hope everybody enjoyed and learned something. Hell yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you. Can you just put your pants back where you had the top of